In this problem, we are given two exponential equations and asked to determine the initial value as well as the growth or decay rate as a percentage. When we have an exponential equation in the form y equals a times b raised to the power of x, if the base b is greater than one, we have exponential growth and the base b is equal to one plus r, where r is the growth rate as a decimal. If we set the base b equal to one plus r and solve for r, we have r equals b minus one. And the value of a gives us the initial value or starting value. If the base b is between zero and one, we have exponential decay, and the base b is equal to one minus r, where r is a decay rate as a decimal. And if we set b equal to one minus r and solve for r, we have r equals one minus b, when we have exponential decay. And the value of a is equal to the initial or starting value. So looking at our first equation, we have p equals 2,405 times 1.06 raised to the power of t. So a, the initial value is 2,405. The base b is equal to 1.06, which is greater than one, and therefore we have exponential growth. And because we have exponential growth, the growth rate as a decimal is r, which is equal to b minus one. So we have r equals 1.06 minus one, which is equal to 0 0.06, which as a percentage is 6%. To complete the table, the initial value is 2,405. We have exponential growth, and therefore the growth rate is 6%. The next equation is d equals 0 0.91 raised to the power of t. Notice how it doesn't appear as if there is a value for a, but of course we could put a one here and it's not going to change the values of d, and therefore a, the initial value is equal to one. The base b is equal to 0 0.91, which is between zero and one, and therefore we have exponential decay this time. And because we have exponential decay, the exponential decay rate r as a decimal is equal to one minus b. This gives us r equals one minus 0 0.91, which is equal to 0 0.09, which is 9%. So to complete the table, the initial value was one, and because we have exponential decay, the decay rate is 9%. I hope you found this helpful.